What's going on guys, welcome back to Nolan TCG, and we are back here today for another month of the OCG recap. Uh, so it's been a little while since we've got this one done, so we're here mid-January, we're going to be covering the December block for the OCG recap. Um, that did see, of course, the ban list happen in the OCG. Uh, luckily, people in the OCG are nice enough to kind of abandon playing the previous list once they announce a new one, because they don't see a point to playing their old ban list. So they all kind of transition over and start playing new decks, which means we have new decks to cover here on the OCG recap. Uh, but as always, before we do get started on these lists, please do remember to drop down below and hit that subscribe button if you are new here, because we are always happy to have new people on the channel. And let's get on into this OCG recap. So of course, starting us off, you do see here that we have the Despia build, or it's like what Despia branded is the way to put it. Um, even though I, I guess, I don't know how the law works, but I always just assumed that branded was Despia, um, given that you're a Luba searches everything, technically in all regions. Uh, yeah, that's the way that it works. Uh, but yeah, so I always figured it was all just kind of Despia, all branded, I guess. There, it's, it's all part of the Albaz lore. Um, but yeah, this deck got the new de new structure deck. Uh, we will be getting it in the TCG eventually. Our deck will become very, very good once we get that, um, especially when, as you see from these duelists, uh, you mix it with Brave like everything else. Uh, it just gets free negations, and that is always a fun time. Uh, but starting us off with this deck, um, weirdly, you don't see a copy of Dramaturge in the list. Um, that was something I found quite interesting, was that they're not playing Dramaturge, but they're playing the other ones. So they're playing Ad Libitum, the one tragedy and the one comedy. Um, I guess it's just kind of the way the deck works out, but we'll get through the list here. So we've got, of course, the one copy of Ad Libitum, along with three copies of Aluba after that. Uh, then for the first of our Braves, we've got the two copies of Aquamancer, along with the three copies of Ash Blossom. Uh, then for the rest of the Despians, we've got the Comedy and Tragedy. Uh, for some more Hand Trap Power, we've got two Effect Veilers, along with two copies of Fallen of Our Bars. Uh, three copies of Maxi, follow that up, along with one copy of Wandering Griffin Wider to set up your negations for your Brave Package. Uh, then we go into our Spells and Trap Cards. We do have, of course, the three copies of Branded Fusion. A very, very good card. We will get into it later on when we do do a introduction to, I guess, Despia Branded. Even though technically we've already done that before. Um, we will... I guess do it again, because they've got a whole bunch of new support. Uh, then after that, we've got the three copies of Branded in red with three copies of Branded opening. I imagine uh, being able to just do all of this stuff as quick plays. Uh, then we've got two copies of Call by the Grave with the one copy of Crossout Designator following that up. Uh, then we've got the one copy of Draco back, the Equip. Uh, then we've got one Foolish Burial, one copy of Journey of Destiny, three Plot of Prosperity, two copies of Rites of Aramisa with two copies of Imperm and one Vanity's Emptiness rounding out the main deck. Uh, for the extra deck, we have the two copies of Albion, the Branded Dragon, of course, uh, what you're going to be using for all of your branded stuff. We've got the one copy of Quirtus, um, not super relevant in this list, I guess is the way you can put it. Uh, it's it's just a kind of a cute card you can play on top. Uh, two copies of the new, I guess, Super Poly target, three uh, in Guardian Chimera. Uh, two copies of another one of the new dragons that you get from the structure deck, uh, which I guess, no, Guardian Chimera is not the structure deck, it's the other guys that are. So it's Lebellion, the Searing Dragon, which is a Dark Plus Albars. And then we've got the uh, Mirajade, uh, the Ice Blade Dragon, which is the other one, which is Fallen of Ours, plus a Fusion, Synchro, Xyz, or Link Monster. Uh, rather gets you some cute plays with like the Verte and things. Uh, and then we have, of course, two copies of Masquerade. We have this one already. It's kind of all right. It's just like a, a soft lock, I guess is the way to put it with your Flare Metal style play. Uh, then we've got one copy of Dragostopelia covering us after that for, I guess, the Double Dark play. We aren't playing Super Poly in this list as I've just removed a card. Um, that other card. Hmm. Whoops. Oh well. Uh, and then we go into one copy of Link Spider with one copy of Relinquish Anima and the one Verte in the extra deck. I'm sure you saw what the card was that I removed. I have no idea what it was. Uh, I'm trying to like think, but oh well. We move. It was probably the Dim Barrier, if it was anything. Uh, then we go into our monsters for our side deck. So we've got the three copies of Dim Shifter with the one copy of Token Collector, one Ghost Spell, one Effect Veiler with our back removal following that up in Double Lightning Storm, one Duster, Double Twin. Uh, then two Dim Barrier and one Infinite Impermanence round out the side deck for this one. Okay, next off we have Brave Tenny. So this is something that's kind of taken place, I guess, in lieu of Sword Soul at the moment. Uh, Brave Tenny has just been a rather cute list. It's been floating around the OCG and doing quite well. Um, rather interestingly, you see all the Brave stuff's been hit, but uh, when you go over to the TCG way this deck would need to be played, uh, we have Band, 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 <laughs> uh, Band. Uh, makes it very, very fun. A lot of the cards here you can't play, especially with like your Deng Long and the Galaxy Tomahawk. This is very much just an OCG list, but I thought it was quite interesting, so I decided to bring it to you here on the OCG recap. Uh, starting us off for the main deck though, we have two copies of Aquamancer with three copies of Ash Blossom. 
uh, one Chi Yang, Chi Wen, uh, Yang Zing of the Light. And we have one Effect Veiler, one Jet Synchron, one copy of Jatsu the Dark, uh, two copies of Maxi with two copies of O Lion, three Red Rose Dragon with the one Rose Rock, uh, Rocks Road Dragon. Uh, for our Sword Souls, we've got the Tai Ye and the Long Wan. Three copies of Anahara, three copies of Ashuna, and three copies of Ashuda are our Tenyu lineup, with two copies of Wandering Griffin Rider following us up in the main deck. A rather cute choice to play the double Wandering Griffin Rider, I guess, because you can cross out your opponents and then still have one to play, and then their Brave Package takes quite a big hit there. Uh, then for the rest of the spells, we've got one copy of Basil Rose Shot, we've got two copies of Cold Lie with the one cross out, kind of a generic thing every OCG deck plays. Uh, one copy of Draco back with the one Foolish, then the rest of our Brave Package in the one Journey, and the two copies of Rice. Uh, then we have one Infinite Impermanence, one Nine Pillars, and one Sword Soul Blackout rounding out the main deck. Uh, for the extra deck, we have our Synchro Package, which is one Baron de Fleur, one Barxia, one Chao Feng, one Denlong, and one Draco Berserker. Uh, we, of course, have the one Yazi following that up later. Uh, then for our other Sword Soul ones, we've got the Qing Zing, uh, we've got uh, Qi Xiao, and we've got one Che Ying. Uh, then for our Xyz, we of course have the one Galaxy Tomahawk. We're just going to spam those tokens onto the board. Uh, that does, of course, combo, combo off with the Hulk package, which has the Ruridon and then all those other cute things. Uh, one copy of Monk of the Tenyi after that, with the one copy of Almirage and one Striker Dragon, rounds out the extra deck. Uh, for the side, we have three copies of Droll and Lockbird, two copies of Veilor with the third Max C, uh, two copies of Navira with two Two and Twisters. Then for your traps, we've got the one Imperial Order, two Impermanence, one Reboot, and one Vanity's Emptiness. Okay, now lastly we have uh, Marincess. I made you wait for this one, Luke. Um, I know you were very much keen on waiting for this list. You probably skipped right to this point of the video. Go back and watch the rest of it. Uh, but for our Marincess deck, we of course have three copies of Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring, one DD Crow, two Droll and Lockbird with the three Effect Veiler, two Ghost Spell. Then for our Marincess lines, we go into three Blue Tang, one Marin, oh, Mandarin, uh, three copies of Pascalus, uh, three copies of Seahorse with three copies of the new one in Spring Girl. Uh, then we have three copies of Maxi, of course, rounding out the monster lineup. Uh, then that same three generic cards that I've just deleted one of in Called by the Grave, uh, two with the one cross out designator. Uh, one copy of Marincess Battle Ocean with two of the new Marincess Dive following that up. Then two Desires and one Twin Twister round out our spell line. Uh, then for the traps, we of course have three copies of Infinite Permanence and then the fourth copy of Infinite Impermanence. Uh, this deck did surprisingly well. Uh, it did finish first in a 3v3. Uh, yes, I did say 3v3, so this may have gotten carried at times, but you don't get first in a 3v3 if all decks aren't doing well. So uh, yeah, this could definitely be something that is worth worth a check out. Uh, then for our extra deck, of course, we do have the one Bahamut Shark with the Toad Play and the one Baguska. Uh, then for our Link line, a lot of this is Marincess. So we've got the one Aqua Argonaut, uh, two copies of Blue, Sc uh, Blue Slug, uh, two copies of Coral and Enemy, one copy of Coral Triangle with one copy of Crystal Heart, one copy of Bubble Reef, which I didn't know we had Bubble Reef. Uh, it must have come out at some point, didn't even know that we had gotten it in the TCG. Uh, one Marbled Rock, though, after that with the two copies of Sea Angel, and then the one Link that is not a Marincess, it is Splash Mage. Uh, then we go into our side decks. So we've got the third copy of Droll and Lockbird with two DD Crow, two Token Collector, uh, one Duster, two copies of Proscription after that. Two Cosmic, two Twin, and then three copies of Dimensional Barrier. That will wrap us up hope for this month's OCG recap. So as always, if you do have any things that you want me to try and find from the OCG, do make sure to comment them down below. Uh, all of these, all of these decks did uh, surprisingly well, uh, especially this Marincess one. I guess the other two weren't as surprising. It was the Marincess one that really blew me away. I'd really like to know how many of the matches it won at the three v three and how hard it was carried if it didn't do very well. But as always, though, I've been Ben from Nolan TCG. And have a good afternoon, everybody.